Good morning, I'm Mario Donovan with AT Overland. We're here at the Overland Expo in Flagstaff. Let me show you our new Atera Topper. It's really a cool product. It's one of those in-between products between the pop-up wedge campers and vertical pop-ups and the shell slide-in. So we were trying to solve a solution or solve a problem, I should say, for a lot of different people who need um, a lot more space to handle big toys like motorcycles and kayaks and bicycles. So this is a, uses, this uses the technology from our flagship camper, the X, uh, Terra XLF. Uh, it uses, it's built with a honeycomb composite and uh, we have uh, coated it with a polyuric coating with ceramic additive and then it gets automotive painted. Uh, it ends up being a very lightweight structure, 510 pounds. And uh, we feature uh, Arctic Turn Overland windows, which are double pane. Uh, they're great for thermal blocking, plus they have uh, solar blinds on them and bug screens. So it checks off a lot of boxes for a lot of people. Uh, come around the other side and uh, we'll take a look on the inside. Now this is that big door I was talking about. You can see how, how wide this is and how cavernous it is. It's enough room you could drive an ATV right up into here or a motorcycle. You've got a lot of headroom in this truck. This is a six and a half foot uh, Dodge. Uh, you get 81 inches of headroom. Uh, 74 inches of width, which is uh, really nice. And uh, this will fit uh, Ram, Ford, Tundra, Chevy. Uh, so all of those full size six and a half trucks. Uh, we'll also be offering other truck sizes, uh, eight foot, 675, five and a half, uh, the six foot midsize Tacoma, Colorado, uh, the five foot uh, Tacoma, Colorado platforms. So that'll all be available here as we progress with the uh, continued development of those sizes. Um, on the inside, it's uh, painted also the same way, has the coating, uh, automotive paint, uh, and that makes it nice and bright, reflects a lot of light. It does have LED lighting in it, standard. I'll turn that on. You can see the lighting strips there, and that's completely dimmable, uh, so you can set the, the mood for, for how you're uh, using this. Uh, this has a king size bed up here. So to use the king size bed, just pull this down and now you have that space. You can also take this platform and drop it down here like you see I'm sitting on a sofa. So this is pretty pretty convenient, pretty pleasant. Uh, it's a grand view out of the back of this, uh, out into our site. Um, we also have these uh, fold down tables. So convenient, put my feet up put my Cerveza here and uh, it's a great place to hang out. Um, one of the standard features on this is a 185 watt solar panel. Uh, we found that so many people have portable power packs and they need a way to recharge them. So standard in the camper uh, is an Anderson power pole connection and so you can just go ahead and plug whatever favorite flavor of power pack you have. We prefer the National Lunas but there's a ton out there. There's also multiple power outlets there's USBs in these corners, there's USBs up here, 12-volt uh, power ports for plugging in fridges or whatever your accessories are. Um, additionally, <coughs> there are other accessories like Truma uh, forced air heater, uh, storage systems that fit in the bed. Um, you can take this and use this as a canvas to create pretty much your ultimate, uh, you know, toy traveler or toy hauler uh, for traveling. So you can get uh, 10 pound propane cylinder mounts. Uh, they you can have two of those. So you could carry 20 pounds of propane if you needed to. Um, we also have uh, awning mounts. So you can put uh, whatever flavor of awning you want on there, whether it's a, a 180 or a 270 or a, or a rollout awning. It's just a lot of ways to use it. So the sidewalls, um, are all honeycomb composite. And if you were to put a backer plate uh, on the inside for your hardware, then you'd be able to add other accessories that people like to carry, like max tracks and recovery boards and other, you know, you could put L track along here and bolt other things onto it. It's very, very rigid, very, very stout. Um, it's been a fun product to build. It was kind of a five minute conversation of, could we make an Atera topper? Gosh, let's look at the CAD hey, I think we can. So our team got together and did the engineering, 
and we pulled this product off from concept to final uh, proof of concept here in four months. So really proud of our team to be able to do that and bring it here to the Overland Expo to show people. The base price of the new Atera topper uh, starts at 20500 and if you want to learn more about that, please go to our website, atoverland.com, and uh, drop us a line.